Hello, Balloon World. I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister. And this week, I'm going to teach you how to make a jellyfish. I know this looks complicated, but it's actually really easy. Let me show you how to make it. For this design, you'll need five balloons. I'm using all blue 260 for my jellyfish. We're going to start with the first balloon. Inflate it about one third of the way. Let them out and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch so it's nice and soft. We're going to make a section about four inches long. And then we're going to make a one inch bubble. And then we're going to fold it over and we're going to pinch it, pull it and twist it. That's known as a pinch twist. Now we want to get this balloon a squeeze and a stretch to make sure it's nice and soft. We're going to fold it over and we're going to fold it around at the end there because we want a nice arch. And right around here at the next corner of the balloon, you know, like if it were a rectangle, it'd be on this corner at the top. That's about how long we want it to be. Don't let go because otherwise it'll come undone. Now we want to twist a section that's about two, maybe three inches. Much smaller than the other ones. And we're going to twist this seam here into this knot here. And to keep it from coming undone on us, take that knot and wrap it through the center. And you should have something that looks like this. We want four of these. So I got to make three more. Here we go. If you want to make sure they're absolutely identical, when you make the next ones, you can match them up to the first one. Now my second one, I'm going to match it up to make sure it's about the same size as the first one. And they're looking pretty good. Two more to go. Okay, now I have four of them. What's next? Well, next is we take two of them and we want to line them up so they match, just like this. We're going to take these two small sections here and we're going to twist them together. Now this can be a little tricky. You want to twist them in the same way that you've been twisting the balloons, because if you twist them the opposite way you've been twisting them, they might come undone. So I always rotate my balloons this way, so I all want to keep that going and rotate these ones that way. Otherwise, you can see it comes undone just like that one did. So I have to retwist that one and then now twist it together. There we go. And we've twisted these two together. Now we got to do the same thing with the other two. All right, now we have these two twisted together. What's next? We have to twist these two together. Okay, so you see those four bubbles right there? We have to twist those together. There's no real easy way of doing this. You just sort of match them up like this and you just sort of rotate them around. If you've made this soft, it'll be really easy. If you didn't make it soft, it's gonna be sort of hard. Okay, so I have them all twisted together. What's next? Because it's sort of looking like Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Well, next we gotta straighten it out. What we wanna do is we wanna make each one of these arcs with a pinch twist line up with one of the seams of the four bubbles in the middle. And it should look like this. Now it's time to get that fifth balloon. Thought I forgot about it, huh? We want to inflate it about three quarters of the way. So almost all the way. That can be tough. Let's them out and tie. So you can see I have just a little bit of a tell there. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. We're gonna take that knot here and we're gonna attach it to one of the pinch twists on the end. Doesn't matter which one. And we're gonna attach it from one pinch twist to the next and work our way all the way back around, basically creating like a circle around the ends. And you wanna make it a little bit wider than the section is, because we're gonna to wanna to curl these later. So I've attached to the first side. Once I have one side down, you wanna make them about the same size for each one. But if it's not perfect, that's okay. Okay, now I have them all the way around and you can see that nice sort of circle area. What I want to do is give it a nice little bend on each one, 
creating more of a circle than a, you know, square or a rectangle. Got the pinch twist right in the middle. And that's looking pretty good. Now this piece here, we don't need. So I'm gonna go up a little section. I'm gonna break it off. You can use scissors or a pin or just pop it, whatever you want. But I like to break it off, that way you can let the air out and tie it in a knot to prevent it from coming undone later. And then once I have that knot, I just sort of tuck it away inside. Just like that. Now, there's only one more step to do. We have to take these guys here and poodle tell them so all the air is at the bottom. The way we do that is we squeeze off like a little bubble, twist a section, you know, and you can sort of put your hand around it or pinch the end. Basically, you want to create a high pressure area with a lower pressure area at the end that the air goes into. This can take some practice. And then once you have the air in there, you just want to squeeze all the air into the end. If these aren't even, that's okay. Because, you know, very few jellyfish have symmetrical tentacles. We want all of the tentacles to look like that, basically. If the poodle tail was too difficult to do, you can also do it this way. You can grab one of them and just sort of squeeze the air and push it down like that. That also works. And we're done. Look at that. Isn't that cool looking? I mean, you can add more sections on the top if you want, but four is pretty much the minimum number you can get away with. And five and more sections makes it difficult to twist that section in the middle. But you know, play with it. See how many you can get in there. I think four makes it look pretty cool though. And if you're gonna be making these for a lot of kids, this is sort of fast. So that's why I chose four. And now you know how to make a balloon jellyfish out of only five balloons. Well, that's it for this week, guys. If you like this video, make sure you click that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, why not subscribe? I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons, even a jellyfish.